Hello class, I thought I'd make a quick video on my favorite tip in Roberto Valenzuela's book, Picture Perfect Focus. Definitely a must have if you wanna up your posing game, uh, but I'll give you my favorite tip from it that I use all the time and it gives you multiple poses at one location. So the cool thing that Roberto does is he says that you can break up the upper part of the body into three uh, lines. So we have our clavicle here, we have eyes, and we have the head. And what you can do is use all three in different combinations to get different poses. So for example, right now all three are straight on to you. In this pose, clavicle over there, head eyes over there. I look cool. And in that one, clavicle over there and eyes over here. So let me show you some photographs. We'll go through them together real quick uh, and we'll show you how you can use the combinations. All right, here we go. Three point posing. All right, our first example, so here you can see shoulders are both turned uh, camera right. But here we have her head looking straight at us, eyes at us. And here the variation is we made her turn her head slightly just to give a different look. This is what it looks like when you do all straight three on, head, eyes, and shoulders. This slide shows you how you can do extreme, oops, sorry, extreme or slight. So here his head is slightly that way and so is his shoulders, really slight and eyes on us, okay? But you can also exaggerate the move. So clavicle, total camera left. You know, his head is slight and his eyes are very on us. So here we had her tilt her head. So her eyes are on camera, but we had her tilt her head. And here her head is tilted, but so her, her eyes. And look at her shoulders. Her shoulders are totally the other way. Shoulders that way, head and eyes that way. Here's how you can change a pose slightly. So this was pretty much straight on, eyes, head, and shoulders. But with girls, you can kind of, or women, you can sort of tilt their heads a bit. Sorry for the different looks here. We're going for posing now, going for posing. So here's how, look on the right, how tough she looks. She looks like she can kick your butt, right? Um, usually you use eyes on and head on for more power. And here, her shoulders are turned to the right, which makes it, gives a little bit of interest. But uh, here we have her head turned and she's uh, smiling, obviously, but uh, just same location, same pose, except just a slight turn of the head changes the whole look. Same thing here, we have the shoulders pretty much the same, but here we have head and eyes looking here. And again, it's a matter of taste and it changes with people. So depending on who I'm shooting, I'll try the different poses. But for me, I, lo I and he looks super awesome here, but he looks really cool, like cool dude on the left. So I like this one a little bit more. Head tilted, eyes on me, straight on. Here's another example of a variation. Again, you try different looks with different people and I like the right one better for this guy. So head is turned more that way, shoulders are this way and eyes on us. Here's an example of using different lenses and different variations. So here this is a 70 to 200 and on the right is my 50 millimeter. So it gives a different perspective, but also posing wise, I think she looks a lot cooler on the right because we had her tilt her head a little bit more. And some people look better, more extreme this way, but I don't think this works as well. But shoulders are slightly that way, but very straight on, head and then eyes. This is a little too much, I think. Now, you have to be careful with how eyes work. So one thing I've learned over the years is that just showing too much whites of the eyes doesn't seem to work if the person is serious but it works if someone is laughing. <laughs> so if you can get your subject laughing, it is pretty, it narrows the eyes a little bit. If the eyes are very open, it's just, this is a little distracting, too much white of the eyes, you wanna avoid that. Shoulders on us, head and eyes extreme one way. Shoulders extreme one way because she's sitting on something. And so I wouldn't have her turning and looking down the street, that would be too extreme the other way. So her head really is on us and just her eyes are that way. Oh yeah, my girl, I like to make my girls look tough in my shots. So this has to be straight on, straight eyes, straight head, straight muscles, <laughs> straight shoulders and clavicle, okay? So she looks tough. And here, she looks super tough too. Her, here, she's kind of head that way. She, everything's slight here, but she's looking at camera and she looks tough. Shoulders on us, head eyes that way. Shoulders extreme, head slightly and eyes. This is like the one, two, and three. 
So if shoulders are really far away, we have head slightly halfway, and the finish line is eyes on us. So that's something else you can do. As opposed to shoulders are kind of slight this way, head that way, and then if eyes were on us here, but eyes that way. And again, don't think that your subjects need to look at camera to get fantastic portraits. Here we have shoulders on us and then head eyes somewhere else, good light on his face. And here we have a cool model pose with this kid. So her shoulder, she's kind of, this is a very variation. We have a lot of shapes going on here. But again, the point here is the eyes don't need to look at camera. And again, you can have the person look right over your camera. So right here, the person's looking right over me and it's a great portrait of the person. This is kind of a power pose. I call it the Wonder Woman pose. She also looks like Wonder Woman, but a really great pose. Have the person look over your camera and then uh, their head is on you. You can turn the shoulders for a little bit more power. I would have turned her shoulders on me, but I like the softness of her shoulders being a little bit camera left. All right, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Make sure to pick up the Picture Perfect Posing book, and I'll see you guys next time.